Today we're out here in the forest and we're gonna create a video for one of my clients. It's a hunter's jacket brand. The scenery is perfect here and we're gonna create something cool that looks like this. So today we're doing something a little different. If you've seen my previous product videos, it's all been indoors and kind of here in my living room behind a nice backdrop. And this time we're going actually out in the forest. So we're not shooting in a studio, we're going out on location. And, and this video is about a hunter's jacket and we're gonna use all natural lighting. We're not gonna use any artificial lights and there's some tricks you have to keep in mind when you shoot without any external lights. So I shot the whole video on my a7 III and I also had my Tamron 28-75 to on there. And I also shot everything in 24 frames. I think slow motion wouldn't be appropriate for that kind of video because it feels too aesthetic and I wanted to kind of have that rough feeling. And I, that's also the reason why I didn't choose to shoot on a gimbal because gimbals feel really clean and I wanted to feel like those micro jitters that you get from the handheld movements that's where you really feel that you're in the video and it feels like more organic. That's what the style was going for and I think that's way better to have in an outdoor video like this. So I'm sure you guys have seen product videos that are just shot in the studio with the jacket on and then just some close-up shots. But I don't think for this video it would be a good fit because you want to see the jacket in its natural environment and the jacket's supposed to be for outdoor people and hunters and they want to see the jacket in its natural environment. If you just shoot them in a studio, it doesn't really connect with them. So I decided to shoot in the forest, waking up early because the light is still good in the morning. And then I went to the forest and began shooting. So in the beginning, I had this sequence in my mind where you want to have an establishing shot. So you have a wide shot of the person or the hunter in this case, walking through the forest and you see the environment he's in and just making the audience connect right away. In the beginning, you see where he is, what he does, and you're going to be right away connected with the person and the brand. And I, as I mentioned before, I didn't use any artificial lights for that. I could have, but I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. And the reason why I shot at like early in the morning was the sun was kind of going through the trees. If the sun is up over the forest, you don't get these nice shadows and you don't get as much depth because the sun is just hitting from above. But let's jump to the actual location and explain it further there. So now we're gonna make a walking shot through the forest and I'm gonna have him walk through the trees and I'm gonna follow him parallel with the camera. So I have the grass and a nice foreground that I have more depth in the image. And what I was looking for is I wanna backlight him so the sun goes through the trees. And I think this is a really nice place to shoot because the trees are look really nice here and the sun hits from behind. So I'm really happy with this shot and it shows like, another establishing shot and you want to see the jacket in action so that's why I want to create a feeling here and not just a simple product video but I want to create a feeling for the product and that people can associate the jacket with the brand and this is where you wear the jacket right in the forest so yeah I'm, I'm really liking this shot uh, and again with dynamic with the movement and yeah let's see how it turns out I'm also adding some establishing shots with the drone just going high above the trees and then just flying through the forest and make sure I don't crash a drone. And 
and there it happened. I crashed my drone against a, a tree here and one propeller flew off. So luckily I have another one. So after showing off the landscape and where the person would wear that jacket, I focused on more detailed shot, like what the jacket can do, like the pockets and the hood that it has. So first of all, get the establishing shot and then move on to more detailed shot. So after we got the establishing shots, we're moving on to some more detailed shots. We're gonna have the camera punch in on the cuff here and we're gonna have some action here on the rifle and we're just gonna punch in smoothly with the camera and make it look more interesting with some movement. And also I wanted to create a little story here, not just some random shot thrown together. I wanted to make sense out of the shot. So he's like look, walking around the forest looking for uh, some deer or something. And then he's going up the stand where he looks around again. And during this story, I wanted to incorporate the special features that the jacket has and I wanted it to feel natural. You don't have to tell the most interesting story, but it should make sense for the viewer that what the person would be going through on a day out when using the product. When oh, I'm also recording some sound effects with my recorder, so it's always good to have good sound. Like now I'm recording some walking sound with my recorder here and it's really helpful in the final image because it adds to the feeling. So the client didn't want to have call out titles because he thought it's a really self-explanatory what the jacket can do and I, I agree. But just for the sake of this video, I added a few call out titles to see how it could look like and how easy it is to get those titles nowadays. All you have to do, you go to Storyblocks or some other website and you download the template. There's tons of templates out there and you just gotta adjust them in Adobe After Effects and I'll show you how to do that now. So first of all, you gotta open up the template in After Effects. Then you wanna drop in your video layer that you wanna have the call out title on. Then you wanna right click on the video layer and go to track and stabilize and then select track motion. And then this tracker appears here. And you wanna go to the tracker tab on the right and make sure that position is tagged, ticked. And you also wanna go to transform only track type. You want to go to edit target and make sure that the pointer control is selected. The pointer control is basically the where you call a title wants to point to. And then you can move around that square here and find a point where you want to attach it to. Usually a point where there's like a contrast difference, which is, works the best, but you got to just play around with it a little bit. And then once you found your point, you can like extend the area where it searches for that specific point. And then make sure you wanna to go to the beginning of the footage because otherwise it doesn't work. And then once you're happy with the point, you just click on Analyze Forward. And then once you're happy with the result, you just go to Apply. And there we go, the tracker is there. Uh, it's pretty easy, then you just change the text on the tracker and there we go, that's the, basically the call out title. And I think these titles, they're so simple to do and they add a lot of production value because a lot of people think it's really complicated to do them, but now you can just download those templates and adjust them. And it's really simple to do as you have seen. I hope you learned something in today's video and enjoyed the change of scenery a little bit. If you liked that video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like that, behind the scenes of product videos, subscribe to my channel. I have tons of more stuff up there. And as always, Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.